Hi everybody, Keith here again. Somehow I got booted off, so uh, I'm just making a quick little live here. If anybody's got that video I was just on, um, please save it and send it to me so I can repost it. I don't think they're going to uh, <coughs> um, let me uh, keep the video unless somebody else has saved it. So if you've already, uh, if you were just watching my previous video just a minute ago, um, I got booted off and uh, uh, I'm going to go over some information here real again real quick um, in regards to the uh, video I, I just tried to make. Um, but anybody, uh, hey Andy, we're bringing Andy back on to finish this up. Yes, but right. anybody, hey, hey, sorry <laughs> about that. I got I got cut off. So oh, no. um, anybody out there that's got that video. Well. It gives me a chance to go and get dressed, Brother Case. I didn't realize I had just my vest on. I legged it out into the other room to come on the video with you. I realized I'm scantily dressed. It gives me a chance to quickly put a T-shirt on. Hey, Philip Essen, thank you. Um, please send that to me if you've got it, because I don't think Facebook will let me uh, um, post it um, if it gets cut off. So, But uh, we're going to go over this information real quick again. Um, the uh, Imagination Nation indoctrination association relation is that if you're professing to be a national of any country <laughs> then you're part of that country okay so that means you're related to the association Nation, that is indoctrinated Sorry. say what say what andy uh, a ward of the state you it would make you um a ward of the state yes when you're in that, when you're in that state of indoctrination and the cognitive dissonance, and you you you're voting yes. Democrat or and so, liberal uh, or whomever you're voting for, you know, you you are you're on a, a a nation state a state of N trance uh, the N trance you go to the shop you go, you walk through the entrance the N trance they're trancing you in to go there, and uh, exactly. all the you see it's all these things that are right in our Right in our faces that we don't, yeah, they you put know, right in your face for their they? value. And, and it's these yeah. words that you're it's bringing like tonight, to, Keith, is like beautiful I, thing. It's like I tried to explain to people that uh, that are using that term Aboriginal. <laughs> ab oh, no, no, not. because <laughs> ab is no. Ab is not. If, if, if you have a, um, a test done at the doctor's and it comes back abnormal, it means not normal. So if you're Aboriginal, then you're not original. Of course they are the originals. They are the originators, settlers. They are native of yep. that land. That is their settlement. Same as the Indians yep. over here. But hey, what is, is, and his story has been written by the hand of man, and it has been lied about, that's for sure. That's a part of the indoctrination, yep. though, when you go to school, I'm afraid, when they are schooled. And to be schooled is to be told yep. off, incidentally. Exactly. <clears throat> And so when, when, you, when you sit there and try to profess that you're part of a nation um, and then try to um, practice common law, you're going to fail. Yeah. Um, what oh, you have to realize I'm is that patriot. common law... I'm patriotic. I, I'm a patriot to my country and I'm a very patriotic man. But when you go to the dictionary and see what patriot is, it's the believer of the fatherland. Now... As far as I'm concerned, I, I'm, I'm dwelt upon Mother Earth, not Father Earth. So if you're a patriot, you, you are for the father side, not the mother. And, and, and this is just those silly things like that that they will trip you into, into their realm. Yeah. And uh, so when we, when we think about the common law, um, we're, we're seeing... Um, the common law is worldwide. And mm -hmm. so if you're trying to profess to be a national of some country and follow the common law, you're playing two different games. And you can't do that. You can't play two games. You can't serve two masters. You can't play one game with two sets of rules. You have to follow the one That's set right. of rules for the game that you're playing. And that game that we're playing today under common law is administrative process. Now, the word administration is either you administrate yourself or you allow them to administrate it. And what they're doing in these courts is they're 
they're running the administrative process, but they're, they're defaulting from the start because they're not providing an affidavit. They're only mm -hmm. making statements of facts. Now to rebut that statement of fact, what we need to do is enter a affidavit with summary judgment, rebutting their facts with the true facts that in our capacity as real men, we administrate ourselves. Absolutely. We, we, give them we 21 are days to rebut well. your facts. Yes. Like what, it's like when you have these Facebook groups and stuff, you have the admins of the group. They are the administrators of the group. Now, we are all administrators. We all have the capacity to administrate our own affairs. It's, a, it's if you are compass mentis enough to do this and realize that it needs to be done by your own hand and not by that of another. Correct. Correct. And so when we enter these affidavits, we have to rebut their, their, uh, their statements of facts with an affidavit of factual statements, our mm -hmm. factual statement. Mm -hmm. That first affidavit, you're going to give them 21 days and you can put in uh, a schedule of fees in there along with the summary judgment. You give them 21 days, they're not going to rebut it because they can't. They haven't entered an affidavit themselves. Now they either have to enter an affidavit rebutting all of your facts, point by point, each point, and every point, or they mm -hmm. failed again. Once they mm -hmm. do that, now you've got a 21-day a, uh, a jump on the administrative process of default. You enter that exact same judgment or exact same affidavit this time you're going to include a notice of default and opportunity to cure. You're going to give them 10 days. Cure, exactly that. That's, that's their opportunity right there to come forth. And if they do have dirty hands, if they, if they haven't put right their wrong, the, the opportunity to cure is time for them to come, hand, to come forth and have clean hands and offer you a remedy. Although man is making the claim, if you are making the claim, you must have the remedy ready. Because he who makes claim has the burden of proof and must provide the remedy. So you must be ready for all scenarios. Correct. And so now what happens is they're, gonna, they're not going to respond again. They are not going to respond because they're not mm. going to, they don't have a remedy. Well, they they have a remedy they for can't. themselves. They can't rebut exactly. your truth. Or they can't respond. Exactly. So now you've given them 31 days. And now you're going to turn around and you're going to file that exact same affidavit the third time. And this time you're going to include a judgment, a notice to file a claim. That's your judgment. Your notice to file a claim is your judgment. So then when they give, they don't respond again in three days, now you've given them a total of 34 days and that's exhausted your administrative remedy. Now you can file your judgment with your claim. And those mm -hmm. are the rules of the game the only game out there it's called common law and it's done absolutely. by administrative process understand this absolutely. stuff people so when they say they're you not, can't serve not two masters the rules. absolutely we only have one master and our master is the same as their master they are oath to to, to and sworn to serve that master they should have the maxims in their pocket they that they on, on, they may well be licensed, but they're certainly not insured there in case they suffer you or wrong. It's called indicted. They must be. They must have an indictment or anything for the bonds to be secured. So there's many ways, there's many realms of where you can trip these mother truckers over. They're not going to tell you the rules. They're very sneaky and very sly. So what myself and, and brother Keith are trying to do and say here is what the rules are. So we can pick this thing up ourselves. We can go and use and implement the rules and hopefully play the game slightly better ourselves. It's like playing soccer or baseball or anything else. You know, you can learn the rules, no problem. But then you've got to learn to play the game physically. You know, it's no good. You can't sit back and hope that this thing is going to play itself out for you. No, 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 no. You, you have got to get step up into that arena and stand on this belief yourself. So and it's not going to happen overnight. It's not easy. And then, although Keith and myself may make, make it sound pretty easy through our language because of our comprehension of the rules and what's going on here with the spellings and the way that they are cast towards us. But believe me, it is not that easy and it won't happen overnight. This, no. is, this is a, a lifetime thing. 
but probably for Keith and for myself, a lot of my belief and my faith has come from the King James. It's um, it's, it's a whole way of life that you have to take on here, otherwise these mother truckers will take you down. Correct. And then uh, the last thing I want to talk about is uh, the research thing. Um, like I said in my, my like I was trying to uh, portray in my last video here just a few minutes ago, towards the end there, um, my life is getting busy trying to get things sorted out for myself. And so I'm running into this thing where a lot of people have a lot of questions and a lot of them have the same questions. A lot of them come back, Me even too. though I've answered, they're coming back with another question because they're confused. You have to do your research. You have to do your own research. I, I've said many times, I don't want you believing your government, and I don't want you believing me either. I want you to know. I want you to know. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about Google, the best thing about Google is you can punch in any word, set of words and come up with something. What you have to do mm -hmm. is be able to discern what words to put in. So when we're confused about a word, like, say, aboriginal, we put in aboriginal and we uh, get up to certain things. Well, one of the biggest problems with that is we're not looking at the original intent of the words that are constructed. A word is constructed of various similar words that used to be used. A, like I said, in ab original, mm. ab is two words, ab and original. Ab means not original. Mm -hmm. And therefore... Um, when you do your research on individual words, you, you should really punch in that word along with etymology. And it'll give you a breakdown of that word etymology. and what it actually means. Yeah. So, etymology is the key. It's the origin. It's the substance of the word. It's where its intent derived from. It's its, it's root substance. And, that, and, and this is what we need here. When you're talking these languages, you need words that are, one word, one meaning, one sentence, one meaning, uh, not to be assumed or presumed upon. It, it's quite an art to get down, isn't it, brother? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When, when, you, when, you, when you start studying this stuff, one of the first things I learned was the spoken language was first written down by some people called Phoenicians. Absolutely. And when mm. they wrote the word We still, we down, still speak and write word. phonetically today, don't we, brother? Shorthand, when your secretary does shorthand for the boss, that is phonetically writing. We do texting, that's phonetics. We speak phonetically. When we, when we speak short tongue, that's phonetics right there, right from the Phoenicians, the language right from the day, that's right. Right. And so when they wrote words down, they wrote them down. And remember, the word down itself means to reduce. It's a reduction. Mm -hmm. It's something mm -hmm. less than the original intent. So when we, walk, when we think about the word definition, it's actually de-phonetion. Mm -hmm. It's something that is less than phonetic. Absolutely. Less than yeah, phonetic. Same with the definition. Short, that's, that's why phonetically speaking and writing, it's all short and it's all compressed down. You know, it's, it's a very short narrative. And I, I enact that way anyway, because it's very simple. It's very layman. It can't be misconstrued. It can't be taken from the context or narrative that it's given in. And once you pick up that way of how to express your language correctly with the correct verbatim, that they cannot waver you. And they know in that instance that you know the rules of the game. Correct. So think about this stuff, people. Start learning how to do your own research. Um, if uh, somebody throws up a case law up on the, on the thing and you don't know how to find it, all you got to do is tag part of that... Uh, part of that case law and put it in your Google space. I think Google takes up to 32 letters. So take a 32 mm -hmm. letter section out of that, put it into Google and it should pop it up. Can I just, it uh, several sources. I, I don't always advocate Google because it can be somewhat constricted. So I, I, I use other engines as well. I'll just say that, but there are other others out there. Right. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying Google. Duck, for Duck, instance. Duck, Go. Yes, absolutely. Brother, but duck, duck, go. And others like that, they will give you much more wider, varied, proper, truthful answers. Right. And that's and that goes right along with my, my next comment. You know, a lot of people, when they use these search engines, they put something in and they use the first thing that pops up without even looking down the rest of the page. Exactly. Others will look down the rest of the page, but then 
see 17 pages or something like that and not even bother checking out any other pages. You really need to, this shit is deep. So you really have to dig deep. And that's why they call it going down the rabbit hole. If, exactly. <laughs> if, if, if you're here to defend yourself, well, then you better do it correctly and you better make sure you've been down that rabbit hole because if there's information down there that you've missed and may require to defend yourself in this realm, well, that is, you're only going to have yourself to, to kick in the foot, aren't you? So you only get out that which okay. we put in and don't expect anything other. Exactly. And Carbon Hero here, he says the Ethiopian, a.k.a. Moors, are the indigenous people of America as well as the whole earth. I, I'm going to rebut that. I'm going to rebut that. Twelve tribes of Israel, buddy. Genesis Absolutely. 1, 26 through 28. One, Genesis 1, 20, one, uh, one uh, verses 26 through 28, it said that God gave man dominion. He, he didn't... He didn't he didn't say he gave Americans uh, dominion over the American continent. He didn't say he gave Moors um, dominion over this part of Ethiopia. He didn't say Not he gave uh, dominion to the Italians over Italian. He gave a dominion over the land, air, and water to man. And dominion is not to dominate, but to steward. And if you're really going to be a steward, right. we need to get away from this nationality bullshit and come together as brothers. I've had a lot of conversations Absolutely. here lately about this Moor stuff, and people... See, the name that I, the monikered name that I use on my profile is El Hotep Second We Peril. El, in the lowercase sense of God, meaning God within myself. Hotep is peace. Re Second We is between the two Absolutely. from when Northern Egypt and Southern Egypt came together. And that made, or that was actually Kemet. Northern, northern part of Kemet and northern, uh, Southern part of Kemet came together and became Egypt. That's peace between the two. Peril is temple, which is my body. I now have peace between my, my, my God, my spirit, and my body. Okay. That's what El Hotep Second We Pero means. Now, if you want to, if you want to start um, that argument, you go ahead and get, you keep digging down that rabbit hole. But I assure you people, if you want to say that you're more and that everybody else is not indigenous, you're wrong. You're wrong. Absolutely, you are. Think about this. Even in your Absolutely. own studies, even in your own studies, buddy, your own people believe that the white man were people that came from within yourself. Two colored people can have a lighter skinned baby. It's called a mutation. Two white mm -hmm. people, it has been proven impossible, impossible to regain something that has already been lost. Two white people cannot have a darker colored baby. Think mm -hmm. about this stuff, people. It's all divisionary tactics. All Absolutely. control it's factors to divide us. Same as religion. It's divide and rule. That's what it is. And that's why you got exactly. the liberals and the Democrats or whatever else. Stuff. Just all divide and rule. That's all it is. I, I Rice, appreciate cream, you wanting to get down to your... Whatever. I, I appreciate you wanting to get down to your indigenous roots, but if you really want to get down to your indigenous roots, and believe you me, you can't deny this either. The Moors believe in the Bible just as much as any other part of the Christian society. So if you really want to get down to your roots, go back to Genesis 1, 26 through 28. And I understand all these Bible pictures that show Adam and Eve as being white is wrong. I understand that. Most people don't. But don't sit there and say that I'm not part of you. Or